Hello everybody, my name is Gadam and welcome back for another video of Old World. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and finished off the goals all together. Uh, Persia finished them up. We uh, cleared out the city itself and scorched the earth so nobody can else can settle there. Uh, we're looking to actually settle here eventually. Once we're done dealing with all the little things over this second city, we're going to settle over over there we also uncovered two new civilizations babylonia which is all the way over there and they've got some territories over here as well and rome which is over here now i want to be able to settle there before rome gets his hands on this uh, region right here so i want to be able to get there right so uh that's going to be my main objective let's end the first turn right here uh because everything was already done all right so we're in the next turn severely heal Coughing up blood, mucus, and suffering suffering from sharp pains in her chest. Our queen, our wife, uh, fears she does not have much time left. So our queen might die soon. Which is not good. How, how young is she? Well, she's 50 years old. She can still last a bit, I feel like. Uh, we have successfully exerted our uh, influence over the queen of Persia. And she becomes influenced by the king. All right. And how far is she right now? They're pleased with us now. The opinion of the Persians is pleased, so we might be able to do something. Uh, the queen is successfully interceded, okay, with the prince. Representative from the academy arrives at the court bearing news of uh, Duchess Andy. She has been well, and uh, she's uh, un as uncompromising as her mother, uh, which means she plus one discipline. All right, there we go. She's now has plus three discipline. We got an option for an ambassador. No, because both of them are not available. Both of them are already do some, doing something. So I'm not going to do that. All right. So do we have any builders done with what they were doing? We do not. All of them are working on something. Uh, my city, second city right here. Uh, cattle rancher would give us uh, growth. Oh, that's really good. The cattle rancher is actually a really good thing. Yeah, we're going to work on that. Uh, next up, my guy right here we're just gonna keep promoting him we're gonna keep promoting that uh, axeman right here that guy we're gonna send him right here my uh spearmans there i go heal them up and my slingers as well are gonna keep them uh in the city and stuff uh, and for my biggest army this guy we're gonna send him over here all right so that uh, is done what type of cheat do we want to use uh right now boys we might want to keep working on what we were already working on, which means uh, the uh, a special district or something like that, boys. We've got this content level. It's going up. It's going up. It's almost there, boys. But right now, we don't have it at up. So I, I'm just going to go ahead and do something else right here. Which one is the tech uh, technologies improvements? There we go. So what do we need right here? What do they want? They want a lumber mill over there? Let's build ourselves a lumber mill, boys, then. Let's get it. Let's get it right there. Lumber mill. Just like that. There we go. It's done. So there's a lumber mill over here. Everything else has pretty much been upgraded except for this. But this cannot be upgraded here. There's nothing uh, we can do with mountains. Uh, aside from that, anything else has been upgraded, it seems like. Uh, this uh, is going to develop into a village. So we don't have, we literally don't have anything else to do aside from the scout. Uh, we are still working on south, but I'm actually going to send back my scout right here. And I send him back and I want to discover a little bit more of the north right here. Now remember, we're playing on a huge map, which means that there's a whole lot left for us to explore around. This map is huge, so we, haven't, we have barely discovered anything really. All right, so as we enter the next turn, uh, Greece has begun the construction of the Great Ziggurat, so they're constructing another wonder. The queen has died, so my wife has died, unfortunately. And uh, this guy be became uh, the head of the, re of the religion. And the prince is minus one of, fa of fame for some reason. So minus one of fame, I don't know what that means. I guess he just lost his fame altogether. Uh, now what? Monasticism? Uh, do we want Af African elephant? An African elephant? Uh, that would be interesting, but 
I think I'm just gonna go for war elephants, all of this, camel archers. That sounds like a fun time for me. Um, we c still can't choose anyone. So that's the Patriarch right there. He's already leading a Spearman unit. All right, so we are gonna heal you up. You are gonna move. You're gonna start moving towards there. We're gonna, as soon as they're mobilized, my armies are mobilized, we'll, um, I I'm gonna send them towards the Romans and start attacking them, boys. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, same thing for this army. I'm gonna send you, just send you here and heal you up really quick. I've got my builders. I need to do something with that first off though we do not uh, we do have some uh, decisions to do so my my wife has died unfortunately a uh, pretty good wife she lasted until 51 years old i am 54 so she's dead uh, pythagorism studies for my daughter she now is 18 so she can't be tutored anymore um, now that she has completed her study how uh, she she contribute contribute, uh, contribute to the court? I want her as a chancellor, judge, diplomat. Uh, diplomat can become a governor or an ambassador. This governor or spymaster, governor or chancellor, a builder. There we go. That's kind of one I want, boys. Even a judge. She could be a judge or go oh, I think a judge is better. It's charisma and discipline that it gives her. Yeah, let's give it uh, as a judge. I want her as a judge. Boom, just like that. And now she's able to become the chancellor. So my daughter is the chancellor now. And she's got plus five of charisma, plus five of discipline. Good Lord, that's a lot, boys. That is quite a lot. Influence mission. Uh, I see some profit. Start, uh, it's free. Let's influence him. It's free. Taboos. What is this? A frustrated princess. Uh, she went after me, right? She was in love with me. I ended up in revenge by revenge she ended up marrying my my son let's see what happens here appears before the court she explains that the culture uh, the cartesian uh, cultural taboos against human dis dissection are limiting medical research if using remains from science uh, for scientific research was not c condoned the nation could make great leaps forwards never the human body is sacred not going to do that we must know what all we can about ourselves that would be great i don't want to become cruel let's we we just know we want to know about these things so she's going to be having a little bit more opinion of me so there we go let's upgrade opinion death of a governor obviously that was my wife i need to choose a new governor over uh, this city now so who do i want to choose my uh si my daughter is already the uh the chancellor so i can't do anything with her the soldier either i can't do anything i don't have any options here i want to keep these guys in the the court itself uh you are done with what you were doing let's get a uh, marble stone cutter not really a miner let's just get some farmers i guess keep get, working on the farmers uh my workers let's see what we got so worker we can build a farm not really it's already done here uh we have an op an option right here to build a mine and that seems about it otherwise we have this guy right here he's got an option to build uh what is that a quarry yeah a, a quarry so we're gonna build that i think that's pretty much it i mean we still grow in the city the, uh itself is growing in terms of space and we've got some space right here we can actually send my my builders over there to build on this city as well so we can do that uh once we have enough uh once we have time i think we might uh start looking to settle another place boys and you uh, our second third city or whatever we might uh start doing that um we've got another builder done all right so i'll i'll use him to send him over there for now i want him to go towards there towards this city towards our capital so he can work on it on these two new tiles I'm going to reduce this, uh, the, this content right here, uh, just like that. So that, that's what I'd use the cheat for. Uh, now that we are free, basically, we don't have any more wife. We could literally do a national, well, a foreign marriage or something like that. We could do that. Uh, we also have my duchess, but you can't do anything with that. Pacify the city. Which one? Cartagio? Oh, okay, yeah, we can do use her for that. She is now... Now that she is the chancellor, we can probably do a bunch of stuff with her, to be honest. Uh, foreign marriage. 
I think we need to uh, family marriage. That's the one thing I'm going to do. It's definitely a family marriage. Uh, we'll we'll see what we can who we can find with her uh, for her, but uh, we'll find somebody. That's for sure. So I can't uh, choose any wife or anything right now. We're just gonna have to skip for the next turn. Uh, in the next year, we'll definitely have a whole lot of things that we're gonna need to work with right here. All right. So Greece has declared war on the Babylonians. The health of the king has declined and he's now ill. I might be dying, boys. I might be dying. All right. So the sudden arrival of envoys from Greece uh, causes disorder in the court. Their ruler, Pelion, demands that we take up arms against Persia. This is not a decision to be considered lightly. Uh, what shall we do? We must wage war on Persia. No, Persia has always been my friend. Let, let's wait a while and see how things play out. Right? Opinion, you can be, you can have minus opinion all you want. I am not going at war with my allies. That's not happening. Persia are friendly to me. Uh, tutorial Chancellor missions. Uh, so I was sent on Emperor missions. Uh, top right. Okay, so a Chancellor can give family gifts to improve relations with your powerful families, lower discontent, or imprison troublesome characters. So she can imprison characters as well. Uh, that's really interesting. So character uh, adulthood, there we go. Farming by the stars, what is this? So observing farmers in the Oscar, uh, on the outskirts of Sabrata, the princess, her, right here, has developed a new calendar for planting courts based on the movement of the stars. Her ideas are still in the early phases, but additional research could help boost food production. Search promising work should, uh, would be, uh, should be pursued. Or more hands, no, uh, not stars, will work our fills. Uh, no, let's let's keep uh, working on that. Plus four bo uh, border tiles. Let's do that. There we go. We just upgraded our tiles. Four new tiles, boys, just like that. That is great, actually. And now we can work on all of this. Uh, we got the Ishtar Gate that we can get, which I can't work on because I already got something built on right here. Let's get the, a farm right here. I need uh, wood or something. There we go. Let's get the farm working right here. And uh, all the other workers are already doing something, I think. Yeah, everybody's working on something. Uh, all right, so that's pretty much that. Before we do anything, I want to use my orders. Man, she's 56. He's 28, boys. He's never going to get a child. He's not going to get a child. Fortunately, it's not going to happen. So I could always imprison her because she is pretty unhappy. Uh, I can't really do anything with her. Intercession via the prince. Family marriage. Uh, I want to do a family marriage for her and my king. So marry. I could always marry the uh, this the soldier right here. But I'm not going to do it. I could do a family gift. I could literally give. Uh, make, make, do that. But I'm going to do a family marriage for her. And I can't do that. Because it's already in the works. Okay. Uh, that's fine. A national alliance. I really want to be an ally with, uh, ally with them. I can't do a foreign marriage as well uh, either for this. So nothing else I can do. I could imprison her. I can't imprison her. I can only do one thing at a time for her. Uh, you right here, the ambassador. You want to do something? National peace? Let's just send some food per turn, boys. There we go. Just going to keep uh, sending some food uh, just like that. So we are going to be giving uh, them like uh, a lot of food per turn. Hopefully that's going to calm them down. And as per the uh, Persians themselves, I think what we want to do right here is send some goods. Uh, foreign marriage. I might want to do a foreign marriage uh, with the king. I might, do, uh, might want to do that. Uh, send some goods either, uh, as well. Not really. Um, they're pretty pleased with me. Yeah, they're pleased with me. But I can't uh, ask to declare war. I can't ask them to declare war anymore. It's not even a thing anymore. Standard the nation, still research, cancel uh, all trade. No. Oh, there it is. Ask to declare war. I need. Oh, I need civics for about everything, as much of everything as possible. All right. So civics, I'm gonna need it for everything. I'm not gaining, and well, I'm gaining about a hundred now, but return. But still, man, I really need a lot more than that. Uh, we really need to start focusing. I'm maybe getting a settler. So I'm going to do that right away, boys. I'm going to get myself a settler and get a, a city. All right. So we're going to do that. Where is it at? Units. 
get a settler and get get it done right here get a spawn him right here boys all right there we go so we're gonna spawn him right here right in there and we are obviously gonna work on the uh these guys now we could always f uh, do this a uh, new family and stuff we could always do that family instead and uh that would give us a lot of opinion and stuff but i think i really want to stick to the same family so same family the problem is it's gonna it's gonna give us a lot of problems overall for the ca for the city because of unhappiness and stuff uh, if i do that it's not going to give us the problems but i'm i'm going to keep at it so i'm going to keep with the magnet ar artisans so there we go we got our third city two overturned weapons are discovered in the clearing uh they're good scattered across the grass and the syrian woman and her children weep over a dead body uh the servers survivors claim that a bear attacked them without warning escort the survivors to their nearest settlement uh promise to notify the nearest settlement of their plight provide the survivors with a guide no i'm gonna escort them i'll escort them why not you have completed the quest found the city there we go so we did that quest they wanted us to do that we did it in getting our third city right here we uncovered the assyrians as well uh right next to them i guess that we are uh, we are gonna start working can we work on the Ooh, I, I don't have anything really that's gonna be uh tough right so I'm going to start working, I guess, on the walls. I'm going to work on that, I guess. And uh, the next thing we're going to need to do is get uh, all these workers to start going there. These two workers, I'll send them over there. These ones, I'll uh, work on the... I'll, with him, I'll work on the last few tiles I've got, uh, I, I guess. We're going to really start working on this place. And uh, that was basically the cheat for the turn, so we can't do anything with that just yet. Um, what do we want to do? I guess we're going to keep healing you. Yeah, one thing is for sure. We're going to keep healing this guy right here. My son, uh, my son's unit. You are going to head over. Hmm, I don't know. Because the Romans have units that are right there. So that's kind of dangerous. I don't really care. I'm just going to go there. Yeah, with my units. And what about you? Uh, you go over here. Well, I don't have any orders left. Okay, I don't have any orders left. I can't do anything. All right, so as we enter the next turn, you are now known as the Noble. Okay, good. Your doctors and devices have warned you that the end is near. Time to get your affairs in order. So we're about to die soon. Uh, exert your influence. We have successfully exerted our influence. Uh, good. That's really good. A new marriage proposal for the Magonids. So who will my daughter marry? Either, either this guy, the Patriarch itself, they really want me to uh, marry him. He's 33 though. Uh, we, may, we have Balnikar, 35, so it's either an old man or an old man. Okay. Way too old for this. Uh, she's 20 though. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so which one is pleased with me? Well, this guy is pleased with me big time. I think this guy is a better option. So we're going to get the Patriarch to be my... Uh, there you go. To be my uh, my husband. So, uh, automate, automate workers, pacify cities, markets. Still, research would be great. The onagers, right? Getting um, some catapults and stuff would be great as well. We can get some courthouse machinery. I want to work on that big time. Let's get that. Uh, work on that big time. So now we've got that uh, for her. We can pacify a city. Can't do that. Cardigo. Oh, it's not an option yet. We haven't discovered the uh, the thing yet. Yeah. So they're pretty unhappy over there in Cartago, boys. They are really unhappy. So by one. So we're going to have to work on that. We don't have any governor. That's the problem as well. We really need to find ourselves a governor right here. But I don't have anybody as an option. I don't have enough people as an option. Uh, I guess I could send... You know what? My princess, you can be the governor. She'll be the, th this girl is going to be the governor because I don't have any children to teach, to tutor anyways. So it's better to do it that way. Uh, we also have, okay, so what do we want to do right here? Let's keep, uh, keep working on those stuff, right? We're going to keep working on all of this. So we'll keep working on farms as well. I think that's the best option right here. Uh, for you, for Sabrata, Sabrata, you're going to get woodcutters. Woodcutter is very important. Monetism or politicism. So we uh, we can s spend some points. We don't even have enough points for that. No. Could choose a, a law, boys. So that's not going to happen. Uh, if we go into here. 
He is part of the family. That's good. Uh, what can we do with her? Intercession. We can influence her. Is she happy? Oh, she's upset. So is this girl, though. I'm going to influence, uh, influence her really quick. You are my king. In prison. In prison. Okay. All right. So what about uh, abdicate the throne? No family marriage. National alliance. Not really. Uh, it's, there's no point in me marrying anybody because I'm, a, I'm about to die probably in the next turn. I am 56. Okay, so yeah, I can't do anything with them. Uh, with her, I can't really do anything. She doesn't have anything to do. So intercession via the prince. Let's do some family gifts. There we go. We're going to do a family gift. And also uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Persians. The Persians. And we are going to... Ask them to declare war, but they need to be friendly and they're pleased right now. So in order to be friendly, they need to really like me even further. So I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to do that. That's going to be a, um, that's going to be a challenge. It's definitely going to be a challenge. Now we need walls. We need everything in here. First thing we're going to do over here is the city. We're going to do the culture. First thing. All right. First thing right there. Culture. Up to the legendary, just like that. All right, we're definitely working on that, uh, big time. I need patrons in order to use money. Eventually, I really will use a lot of those. Aside from that, uh, I guess I can do an intercession again with her. So I might as well do an intercession via the prince. My workers right here. I wanted to send them. Oh, hold on. What is this? Build a grove. Okay, so that's a new thing we can build uh, as well. That's one of the new things. Okay, let's go build that. We can also build the Oracle, by the way. That is one thing we can build. The, I want to have a wonder for each city. So I'm going to build just simply a, a grove right here. Uh, we need some wood. There we go. We need some wood. So let's just get the grove right here. Done. It's working on it. The worker is working on it. Okay, so you are going to go ahead and enter this city right here. First off, you need to start to working on the Oracle big time. Yeah. So we're going to get the Oracle in this city uh, big time. That's, uh, I'm going to quickly build it. That I'm going to use my cheat for the next turn to do that. Uh, I think I got uh, nothing else going on. So we can keep it moving. So first thing we're going to do, I guess, we're going to start attacking them probably. I have enough points to fortify somebody. He's level 3. He's level 4. Level 4 and level 4 as well. Okay. Keep it mo mo you moving. And we cannot do anything with anybody else. Yeah, we are all basically stuck quite a lot. I'm going to promote. I can't even promote them. I can't do anything. All right. So, yeah, we don't have anything that we can do really right now. So, just uh, got to stay put really. All right. So, news arrived from abroad that the queen of Rome is dead. The king, uh, and now the new king of Rome has taken the throne. He's upset with us. Not good. We're about to be at war with him anyways. The king, uh, our king has died as well. And the princess, uh, or my sister, is now the head of the family. Because I am the king. So, we've got a brand new king, boys. At the funeral of King Zushan the Noble, you are approached by the queen of Babylonia. I owe the debt to Zoshan and was not able to repay it. Allow me to repay you in his honor instead. Will you accept? Accept a sizable donation to your na national coffers as they keep the favors for the time being. Uh, ask uh, that they keep the, uh, the favor. Now, owes favor to the king. I'm going to ask them to keep the favor. There we go. They're going to owe me a favor. We're still in there. All right. And until then, I'll just ask them to keep it just so in case maybe I can ask that favor to be at war with Roman stud and, and stuff. Patriarchy fervor. So your coronation has been met with a wave of patriotic fervor as subjects from across the nation seek to serve the new uh, ruler. So Amilcar the new boys, a new king right here. Uh, great stats all, all across the board. He has minus one fame though, but that's okay. Organize a labor corps. Okay, that would give us uh, a, a bunch of stuff. We'll get to gain a worker. This would give us more, I guess, more training. They will, this would give us culture in Cordago and plus one citizen. Encourage artisans to move to our capital. We're going to do that. There we go. So we got some, some citizenship right here. Um, next up, I guess, now we're in the next turn. Attack by a bear. What is this? 
The victims of the bear attacked attack are delivered safely to a settlement of their nation, Assyria. The village leader thanks our people for their kindness, express a desire to cooperate in the future, and offer to set up trade between the two nations. Let's set up a trade. Actually, let's express a desire to cooperate in the future. Let's do that. Boom, big time. Death of the governor, of course, because my king was the governor of the second city. We need a brand new governor because of that now. And I don't have anybody. So we'll just take my soldier. He's going to be the governor, I guess. So we need somebody, I guess. So we got to take my tutors, boys. The two uh, people that were my tutors are now in the not, not anymore in the court they're busy being the the governors and she might die soon i mean i think my my queen my my wife is gonna die soon 58 years old she lasted longer than the king so that's a surprise in the end of itself uh we could divorce her i'm just gonna wait until she dies she's gonna die soon so uh that's that abdicol rally the troops national alliance can't do that just yet uh, leave, pacify the city. Can't do that. Don't have that uh, ability. Influence him. We could. Oh, okay. So yeah, he's he's cautious. Now I gotta work all the way again, right? I gotta work with people. So I'm gonna influence him via me, just because he uh, just to make sure that everybody likes me as a king. Uh, we are gonna do so. The cheat I'm gonna use. We're gonna do this, boys. Oh, hold on. Just like this. We're gonna do this. In one turn, that's going to be our cheat. In one turn, uh, basically, the oracle is going to be finished. So the oracle was completed, actually. So there we go. You're now known as the architect. We've completed the oracle. So all three of my cities have uh, an actual thing going on. I have a wonder. Uh, we are going to get uh, a shrine. Why not? Let's get the shrine right here. Which one is it? Of Melkat. Okay, let's get the, the shrine right here. There we go. Just like that. Um, next up, we've got uh, workers. Uh, workers are the most important thing, not my, uh, not my soldiers. So, uh, workers, what do we want to work on? Uh, obviously, we want to send you over here. We've got a mine to build right here. And you, you've got a lot of stuff to build, actually. You got, uh, you need to build a farm right here. So, let's uh, let, uh, go ahead and build a farm right here, buddy. There we go. I'm going to need more workers. I'm going to start needing more workers and stuff. Uh, big time. I think I might just drop some and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're going to need to work on that. And uh, next up, all my little soldiers right here. Uh, I guess I could move you. Let's, uh, let's move my slinger right here. Keep moving him. It's going to scout ahead. And for, uh, for you right here. You're going to do the same thing. You're going to scout ahead right here. Start moving a little bit. So I do definitely proceed with war preparations. Uh, yeah, we're going to declare war, boys. It's not the time. No. Declaring war. Boom. All right. So it is time. Let's enter the, let's enter the, 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 the place. We are going to, the, we're going to declare war to them. So we're going to start attacking them. There we go. Start attacking them with my axemen, boys. I don't have enough orders. Buy some orders. Boom. Attack these workers right here. Attack them and keep attacking them. Okay, I can't do anything with them. Oh, okay. I, I bought an order, but I can't do anything. Well, at least I can move this guy. We're going to need somebody to defend ourselves against these guys. So we're actually going to send him back. So make sure that there's two of our orders right here. Send him back right here. Keeps, uh, keep spending uh, some military, some training and stuff. Yeah. Keeps, uh, keep doing that. There we go. So he's going to be there. He's going to protect us in the meanwhile from this army right here. Uh, other thing that I want to do is I want to go and uh, talk to the ba Babylonian right here. They're not friendly with me, but uh, they they got something with me. So maybe they can, uh, maybe it's going to be an event or something where I can ask them to to join the war effort right so the persians i'm gonna go ahead and are they friendly with me they're cautious they're, they're cautious once again i'm gonna offer some food per turn and that's about it and i'm gonna ask them i can't ask them to do anything all right so that's pretty much that we're gonna keep it right there uh leave it right there boys 
I think I'm gonna end up stopping the series right here, boys. Uh, just for the fact that uh, the game keeps glitching out a little bit. It's kind of incompatible with my capture card, a car, capture card for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but it glitches out after the videos quite a lot. You guys probably don't see it, but it takes two of my videos, say part 33 or 34 or like 15 or 15, uh, uh, and 16, are becoming part 13 because I gotta basically move both of them together and it's kind of frustrating when you're edited out to edit out uh, entire portions of your video because they get corrupted entirely so uh, I guess what I'm gonna end up doing is just ending right here boys the series uh, we're gonna move on to a new one I think that's the best of solutions right here uh, otherwise, we're ju I'm just going to end up not liking editing the videos. I don't want that to happen. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.